Uh, Radio guys, welcome back to a, another episode of Never Been Bogged. We're here to do a, another rig rundown with Heath, so run us through what you got. 2014 Azuzu D Max, um, bought it stock, and then yeah, everything you see is what's been done to it. Gravy. Ah, uh, well, we'll start from the front and run through what we got. Uh, Radio, run us through what you got going on the front here. PSR Ambush Bar, um, colour coded. So they come black, do they? Yeah, come yep. black, yeah. The Steady Type X Pros, GME 3.7 DBI XRS. Nice. Um, no winch, uh, p uh, panel house headlight replacements because it's a bit nicer than the factory ones. How do they go? Yeah, good. Got the steady globes as well, so yep, pretty bright. Yeah, good. Yeah, yep. not bad. I look for getting some. Yeah, they're worth it. Worth it? Yeah. Right then. All right, well, uh, we'll move around the side and have a look what you got. Uh, run us through your rims, tyres, and what you got going on underneath. Just got the D shaped steelies. Um, zero offset, 16 inch rims, um, 315, 75, 16, uh, Falcon Wild Peaks, they're killer, favourite yep. tyre so far. Yeah, they're a 35 then aren't they? Yeah, by 12 and a half. Yeah. Um, just got some custom uh, inner guard liners and mud flaps, got the Munji um, composite inner liners with the Superior Reservoir mounted up there. Yeah. Um, the Superior 2.0 shocks. PSR coils, um, the SPC upper control arms, yeah. Munji diff drop, that's a must on these utes. Yeah. Um, Keep your CVs a bit longer. Yeah, definitely. And then the CV quick disconnects as well. Yeah. Haven't had to use them yet, have you? Nah, luckily not, but I'm <laughs> sure the good. time will come. Ah, well. And then um, two inch body lift as well. Yeah. Um, to fit the bigger tyres. Yeah. So what's all up in the front you got? Uh, so three inch suspension and two inch body, two inch so body, yep. five inch overall. Yeah, and bash plate, is that part of the bar or? Yeah, that just came with the bar. Planning on doing the ARB ones yep. and ARB recovery points, but I haven't gotten stuck yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> haven't, <laughs> haven't needed them so far. Right, yeah. Um, what else you got going on underneath? Anything else? Uh, just a three inch um, PPD exhaust. Yeah, yep. that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, it gives it a good note. Um, and I see you had rock lights under here as well. Yeah, just six of the uh, steady rock lights when you're out night forward drive and give you a bit of... With the night crawlers. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> night crawlers. Um, yeah, so it shines a bit of light out of the wheel wells, which is nice for visibility and all that. Yeah, you actually use them, not just uh, yeah. push dust. Yeah, not just push dust. <laughs> Skids on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, sounds good. We'll keep moving along then. Uh, run us through what else you got going on down the side here. The fabulous fab. Um, long entry snorkel, no yep. airbox, just factory airbox. Um, clear view mirrors, pretty handy with the wider tray. Yep, keep the scene inside. Yeah, they're a must. Um, Legend deck sliders, uh, fabbed up to suit two inch body lift. Yeah, sit them a bit higher. Yeah, um, just yep. some eBay um, weather, shields. weather shields and eBay, like clone of the factory ones. Yeah. Like 150 bucks. Gravy, no, I like it. All right, we'll have a look what you got going on down the back. Hey, run us through what you got going on in the back here. Just the TC boxes, 800 mil canopy. Yeah. Um, ARB elements fridge, this thing's a lifesaver. You like it? Yeah, it's been sitting out in the weather for three years and no issues, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, highly recommend. XTM 1.4 meter awning. It's small, but it does the job. Yeah. Steel & Co rooftop tent. What are they like? Oh. Wicked, yeah. Wicked. Must yeah, I haven't have. really heard much about them. So. Yeah, no, nah, they're a must have, I reckon. Um, yeah. And then just, uh, yeah, the maxis on the roof. Crazy. Uh, what about your tray? Where's that? That's just, just a Facebook Marketplace special. Just a bit of a custom jobby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some camp lights as well. Yeah, they're what are they? Handy. They're just the steady orange ones. Yeah, the amber light. Yeah. Gravy. Oh, I'll add throw out a bit of light then. Yeah, they're killer. Yeah. yeah. Light up the whole campsite. Gravy. What about your rear suspension you got? Just the uh, 350 kilo EFS leaves. Yeah. Um, extended bump stops for the extra weight and then yeah. Dobinson MMR um, remote resi shocks. Remote resi, yeah. yeah. So how much has that lifted it from stop here? Uh, 
probably only about an inch with all the weight on it. Yeah. But they are two inch leads, but yeah, the setup's yeah. pretty heavy, so. Yeah, rides are up right still? Yeah, yeah, comfy. Yeah. 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 Gravy. Ah, uh, we'll uh, have a look around the other side. Right, okay, so I see around this side, you've got your crash pad bin bag on the back here and your spare, so. Yeah, just for, the, just for the cans around site, a bit yeah. of rubbish. A bit of clean up. Yeah. Right, yeah. what else do you got going on in here? Just the Dun and Watson canopy lights, they got red and Red and white, pretty handy, keeps the bugs away. Yep. Um, 1500 watt inverter, not sure what brand it is, just an eBay. Yeah. eBay one, but works well. Does the job. XTM control box, just for running all the lights, the water pump, and yep. those bits and pieces. Whereabouts is the water pump? Hidden? Under the tray. Under the tray? Yeah. Gravy. How much water you got? 80 litres. Gravy. No. <laughs> um, batteries? Where are your batteries? Behind the seat. Behind the seat. Yeah. Right, and I'll have a look at them in a minute. And the rest is just sort of storage. Yeah, yeah. Got the ladder, table, water. Yeah. Tools, spare parts. Yeah. CVs. Essentials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The grocery getter. Yes. Doesn't Gotta. go off road, so. Yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> nah. All right. Well, we'll have a look inside. Run us through what's going on in here. I can see there's a fair bit that's not real stock in here. So. Got the just an aftermarket carbon fiber steering wheel. The old one was getting pretty worn out, so yeah, a bit, bit of nicer. a freshen up, yeah. Chevron dash mat and solar shade. Yeah. Um, ultra gauge just gives me all my temps, and then whatever's not on there, I've got exhaust temp and oil temp. Yeah. They're pretty handy. Yeah, that's all aftermarket, I assume. Yeah, and that's just a eBay pillar pod thing for it. Yeah. Okay. Got the bedrock floor liners. Yeah, um, and I the, see there's something else tucked over there too. Yeah, the Scrub King bracket for a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Nice and easy to get to. Yeah. Kenwood Apple CarPlay head unit. That's, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Wireless. Upgraded speakers as well? Or? Yeah, so got kicker speakers front and rear and then a kicker under seat sub and amp combo. Nice. So yeah, it gets the tunes cranking, which is nice. That is ideal. Yeah. GME handheld 370. Yeah. Um, with the unit being Tucked in the glove in box, yeah. yeah, nice. Just a likewise gear knob with an extension, a bit yep. comfier than the bit old one. Yeah, the old one was getting worn out as well. Yeah. So you got Red Arc trailer brakes, is it? Yeah, Red Arc. Yeah, the electronic trailer brakes, and then some spicy switches on this side that do the compressor and front and rear air locker. Yeah. So all ARB. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. And what have you got going on in the back here? Just the uh, off-road affiliate. Uh, rear window organizer just keeps things nice and tidy back there some spots to put it and then 170 amp power um, battery behind the seat what battery you're in oh it's just a facebook marketplace yeah, yeah. lead acid one so it's not lithium yeah weighs oh. 50 kilos so it's pretty heavy but pretty hefty. yeah it does the job and yeah. then just the red arc bcdc as well yeah do you know what size that is or? 20 amp, That's 20 a 20 amp? amp yeah. one yeah Nice, no, they work good. Mm. Um, and what seat covers are you running? Just some grunt ones. They're yeah. due for an upgrade, but they've done the job, kept the seats nice and clean, so. Yeah, groovy. All right, well, we'll have a look under the bonnet and see what you got going there. What's going on under here? Just got the PDI intercooler. Um, it's a must have with the bigger tires. Yeah. And on, on the beach when it's nice and hot, keeps engine temps nice, nice and cool. Yeah. Um, the Scrub Kings compressor mount with the ARB compressor. It's got the Scrub Kings dust cap and um, front rear gearbox and transfer case diff breathers. Yeah, nice. Keep them all up out of the way. Yeah, and then the Munji uh, radiator relocation. That's yep. for the body lift, so you can run the lower fan shroud. Yeah. Um, keeps the keeps the fan protected when you're doing water crossing and stuff like that. Yeah, nice. And that's about it under here, is it? Yeah, oh, engine. You got these. Oh, yeah, the bonnet struts, they're just eBay. Yeah. eBay specials. Just make it a bit easier than yeah. having the rod. And, and then, motor wise, it's all stock. Um, got plans to do it eventually, but just haven't yeah. gotten around to it. Fair enough. You got any um, plans to do any other mods on the U at the moment? or? I got diff gears, 4 1 diff gears. Yeah, um, slow it down a bit. Yeah, and uh, I need to repaint the tray as well because she's getting a bit, a bit rough. Yeah, a bit rough around the edges, but that's all just slow comings when you get time yeah that's it yeah oh well uh thanks very much for Easy. doing the video and coming out and no, thank showing you. us around so um i'm sure we'll see you around on the tracks at some stage easy and uh thanks everyone for watching and see you on the next one